Just making a quick video talking about over paneling. So this is, um, you know, something I actually had a viewer ask about this and just, you know, a lot of people in general kind of are curious about this and ask about this. Um, because, you know, if you're looking at uh, getting a power station, or if you have a power station and you're looking at the solar specs, uh, you know, maybe the solar specs aren't quite as good as you'd hoped for. And you're just kind of worried, you know, how much solar are you really going to get? Um, well, you know, over paneling can be a really good idea and can kind of, you know, help you get the most out of, out of the power station. It can also help with consistency, right? If, if you don't always have perfect weather, if you don't always have perfect sunshine, you know, over paneling is, is actually like a super good idea. So I thought in this video, I'll just kind of go through um, kind of the, the things you need to consider. You know, generally over paneling is safe to do. And, um, you know, but but there are some kind of limitations you want to consider. And there's also, you know, when you're talking about these portable power stations, you know, um, basically all of the, you know, all the ones that you kind of see, the name brand ones, and even the off brand ones, you know, they're all going to have the, the solar charge controllers on these things that they're all going to kind of uh, protect themselves. They're going to have uh, limits as far as amp limits. And just, you know, the, the number of watts going in, they're going to have hard limits on that themselves. Now, the one thing I'll say, though, is, is you know, because because of the nature of this video, I still, I'm still i still going to put a disclaimer on this video because who knows? There might be some, some uh, you know, random uh, crappy power station out there somewhere that doesn't do that. And if you try over paneling it, maybe it causes, a, you know, an issue with it. So I am going to put a disclaimer on this, you know, kind of like, basically over panel at your own risk you know basically do everything uh in this video at your own risk but but generally you know you know 99.9 percent .9 of the time if you have a, a, a portable power station that has these kind of limits in place you know this is this is um going to be no problem so but there are some things you know everything we're going to talk about in this video there are some things you want to consider there there are ways to kind of be smart about doing this and um, so we're just going to kind of go through all of that um, in this video. So in this video, I'm kind of going to talk about and reference this blue, this brand new Blue Eddy AC60. And, and the reason I'm kind of going to use this is just because I thought it was interesting that I was just watching Hobotech's review on this thing. And, uh, and, he, and he said this. But note this product is designed to charge at a maximum of 200 watts of solar. So don't go putting a 400 watt Blue Eddy solar panel on this expecting it to work. You'll just burn this thing up. So yeah, first I was just kind of surprised to hear him say that because you know I, I've heard him talk about over paneling a lot in his videos. So, um, but you know basically I so I kind of decided to do some research into this product and kind of see what he was talking about. But the reason he said that is because of the the voltage. So this is going to be like the number one thing that we're going to talk about today is the voltage, and this is this is going to determine basically you know uh, how much you can over panel and if you can over panel and stuff like that. So um, basically the number one thing you want to look at is the VOC. This is this is like number one for over paneling. So in this case, this Blue Eddy AC60, uh, you know, the, v, the VOC they're saying that you can only go up to is uh, 28 volts. So this is gonna determine, you know, basically what solar panels you can use, if you can do series or parallel, you know. Um, so basically, you know, the higher the, the, the voltage range of the charge controller, kind of the easier you know it's going to be to over panel now in this case you know the ac60 it's not very high <laughs> you know basically 28 volts it's not very high and uh, if we actually go over to the uh the basically the solar panel that he was kind of referencing this is the pv350 if we actually look at it we can see you know the voc on that thing is 46.5 so, um, so yeah, that, that definitely w wouldn't work. Now, Blue Eddy should have kind of a, a protection, like over voltage protection on there. So it shouldn't, you know, burn it up like he said. But, um, you know, if you have a different power station that doesn't have over voltage protection, it could be. So, so this is kind of like, you know, he was just trying to be as simple as possible with this, you know, and he didn't want to get into all these details. So he just, you know, that's pretty much why he made the comment he made. So when we're talking about, you know, charging with solar and, and potentially doing over paneling, um, the three main things that we need to know is the voltage, the amps and the watts. So, and then the voltage is kind of broken down into two things, the, the VOC, which is the open circuit voltage and the VMP, which is kind of the max power voltage. Basically when the panels are producing max power, what's the voltage at? Now, the number one thing we want to look at is VOC. So this is kind of, you know, if you see these two different, uh, you know, VOC, VMP, 
you want to look at VOC as far as compatibility with your power station. This is just the most important thing. And this is going to determine, you know, what, what you can do and what you can't do. So if we jump back over to these other solar panels that Bluetti has, the, uh, the 120, oh, the 120 and the 200, um, basically you can see they have the VLC listed here and all of these will work with that, with the, the Blue Eddy AC60, right? Because it's less than 28 volts. Now, the thing that you got to be aware of is that VOC actually does vary depending on the temperature. This is very important. You know, if you're trying to like thread the needle and you're trying to get the, the most out of, out of your solar panels and trying to put the most solar into these things, um, this is something you got to really be aware of. And in fact, this one here, you know, 26.1, this could be close if, it, if it's really cold out. So basically the temperature does make a difference. And well, the, the biggest thing you got to worry about, the biggest concern is cold temperatures. So just remember that in cold temperatures, that VOC number will actually go up. So it's like the opposite. The colder it gets, the higher the VOC is going to go up. And then, of course, it is true, you know, the opposite is true. But, you know, if the VOC drops, uh, if it's really hot out, you know, if it, if it drops, um, that's not really going to be an issue. You know, that's, that's not going to cause a problem. So it's really the, the cold temperature because you don't want to have an issue where, you know, basically, you know, maybe you thought the VOC was good, you know, but then, um, you know, it goes up. You know, in this case, it might actually go up to around 28 volts if it's like really cold out so now the question comes up you know is this kind of a good idea and so basically you know if it's a high quality charge controller which you know i would assume blue eddy uses um it shouldn't be an issue right i mean if they say you can do 200 watts of solar and you're pulling 200 watts of solar from you know in this case 400 watts of panels you're still just pulling 200 watts it says it can do 200 watts it shouldn't be an issue but the thing is, you know, maybe you have a power station where maybe the charge controller isn't as high quality as maybe it should be, right? Now, again, we talked about this, you know, basically all of these power stations, you know, I can't say 100%, but basically all the power stations, they're going to they're gonna have these proper limits in place. But the, the question becomes, you know, if you're running these things at the maximum all the time, could that shorten the life on it? And, and that is a possibility, right? I mean, that is a possibility, but that's, you know, a possibility with anything. You know, you could be outputting the AC power, the inverter on this thing at max load all the time too. I mean, it's probably going to shorten the life on it, right? Now, the other thing to consider is that, you know, um, how far, you know, how much of this over paneling are you going to do? Um, this, this could also just, you know, put extra stress on the charge controller as well. So in this case, you know, do you really want to have uh, 400 watts? You know, if it's a perfect, you know, beautiful sunny day, do you really want to have, you know, potentially 400 watts going into this thing, into this power station and having it limit it down to 200 watts, you know, basically half? Um, generally, from what I've seen, that's just, you know, it's not the, the greatest idea. Again, the power station, the charge controller, it should handle it. But again, if you're doing this, you know, consistently over time, could it add more stress to the power station or the, the charge controller? Could it lead to an early failure? It's possible, right? So, so here's where we're going to talk about just being smart with this. If it's a clear, you know, bright, sunny day, maybe you don't want to have, you know, both of these panels, you know. So, you know, if this is 200 watts and this is 200 watts and this thing here can only accept 200 watts, maybe you just want to go with the one panel, <laughs> You know, so, um, so, but the thing is where over paneling can be, you know, the most effective, the most uh, helpful, the most useful is in cloudy conditions, right? So if you do have cloudy conditions, this is where then you want to go with the two panels, <laughs> you know, you want to, you, you could definitely go with uh, 400 watts of solar in this thing, because even with that, you know, you're probably not going to get uh, even 200 watts, right? Uh, let's just say if it's real cloudy, maybe you're going to get, you know, 75 watts out of each of these 200 watt panels, you know, for a total of 150 watts. And there you can see, you know, how and why over paneling is going to be so useful. So yeah, just, the, you know, the number one thing, number one thing is check the VOC. 
And if you want to do multiple panels and you got, you know, you don't have a lot of room like this, like this blue Eddie AC60, you're going to have to do stuff in parallel. So, you know, parallel, it keeps the voltage the same. So you're just going to increase the amps. You're going to increase the amps when you do uh, parallel. But again, these power stations, they limit the amps, okay? And in this case, you know, Blue Eddie's not even mentioning that on here. They're just mentioning the watts and the volts. But uh, I can tell you that it's actually uh, 8 amps on this. And, and this is a kind of a, you know, basically it'll, it'll limit, the power station will limit, you know, whatever is highest. So 8 amps or 200 watts. You're not going to exceed either one of those numbers, basically. So just to sum up here, basically, you know, we're talking about this Blue Eddie AC60 as the example. Um, so what, what, what I would do is if you had these, if you had two of these PV200 panels and you had a, you know, a beautiful sunny day, I would just run one of these panels. And then if it's cloudy or if it's, you know, early morning, late afternoon, you're not getting, you know, max power anyways out of these panels, you know, then I would run two. Okay, so just be smart about it. Now, if you want to just kind of, you know, have two panels and run two panels all the time and not kind of worry about thinking about, you know, what you want to do, that's where this might be a good option, right? Because the, if you got two of these, having 240 watts, even if it's cloudy, you know, you're still going to get some decent power with that, you know, more than you would just get if you just had a single 200 watt panel, for example. So, you know, this is kind of where you want to do over paneling, mostly, you know, cloudy conditions, conditions where you're not getting max um, solar power. These are the things you kind of want to think about. You don't want to go too crazy. You don't want to put too many panels, even if you can keep the voltage in range. It's probably not going to do you um, a whole lot of good because of the, the amp limit, the watt limit, and so on. So, so yeah, hopefully you just kind of found this whole kind of quick overview. It, well, it was kind of quick. I tried to make it quick, and... And hopefully it wasn't too confusing. I'm going to try to make this a little bit simpler next time. But um, this will at least just kind of cover everything. And so hopefully you just kind of found that helpful or informative. And yeah, so thanks for watching.